Hello Taurus, welcome to your reading. So um, while meditating on this month's reading for you, I have two images and I feel like the first image might be a continuation of the message that I got at the beginning of the year, um, I'm sorry, the beginning of the month with the sunflower, okay? Um, I see a sunflower, so it looks exactly like the sunflower at the beginning of the month, but it's a little bit smaller, so it's like a foot high. It's in a pot and um, it's on, on a table in like a living room possibly. I don't see any people in it. And then it's near the window where it gets a lot of sunlight, okay? And once again, the sunflower, it has like two leaves and it looks like hands. And the face of the sunflower um, is, is cartoon, so it has like eyes and it has a mouth. And this image is very soundless and wordless. So I don't hear anything. I just see this image of this sunflower kind of bobbing back and forth. And it's smiling. It's so happy. It's just so incredibly, incredibly content. Somebody is giving it... Um, water it's getting all the nutrients it needs from the soil it's getting the sunlight for its photosynthesis and it's just really really happy and um occasionally i see like a hand coming out and kind of petting the flower like petting the petals and kind of um you know smoothing out its hands the the, the leaves so i feel like you're taking care of a, a person or you're taking care of something and it brings you a lot of joy and contentment okay the second image that I saw, interesting, the second image that I saw was um, this man, he's in a car. So it looks like one of those old school beetle and he's wearing a hat. So you see him in the passenger, uh, in the driver's side with the hat and you only see the back of his head and you see the windshield and, and the windshield goes through this. Um, it looks like Southern United States in the 1950s. The road is a dirt road and there are like, you know, um, potholes and puddles of water. And then there are people. So he's driving in this beetle and you're seeing through the windshield, a lot of people walking in the opposite direction. They're carrying, you know, heavy loads, like even their groceries. Some of them are walking with their kids. Um, some of them have like, um, an ox cart with them and they're carting back a lot of things possibly you know for their convenience store or for their business and then he sees um, this woman she's on the right side and she's older looking she has like a little handkerchief on her hair covering her hair he sees her from the back and she's hauling like um, a really big sack of something that looks really heavy and she looks older um, she's struggling so then he goes drives alongside her kind of slows down she sees him and there's a wordless exchange between a, the two of them okay and she uh, puts her sack in the back seat she climbs into the passenger seat and then he drives her so i feel like that wordless exchange indicates to me you know like oh do you need a lift can i um give you a ride to your destination it seems like you're carrying you know a very heavy burden can I help you? So that's what it feels like to me. So I feel like, you know, the beginning of the month, you guys have made some major, major strides in your career. I, I did feel like a major uptick when it comes to your financial situation. And then I also feel like, um, you know, the, the message was pay dirt. Like your, everything that you have done, everything that you have accomplished is definitely bringing about a lot of financial abundance for you. And so as we transition into the later part of the month, it seems as if you are sharing your abundance with other people. You're giving to other people and you're showing your kindness and appreciation and, and extending your assistance and extending your generosity to the people around you. They don't even have to be the people that you know or the people that you care about personally. They can just be, you know, acts of kindness towards a, a stranger, okay? So that's what I'm, I'm feeling here. Um, the man in the car, he looks Caucasian. The woman, the older woman walking with the really heavy sack, she looks like she has darker skin. And so what I feel is the, the landscape looks to me very much like 1950s, you know, south, uh, the southern part of um, the United States. And we know that during that time, there's a lot of segregation, right? 
And so I feel like there's something that you're doing here to kind of bridge the, the gap, bridge the divide between uh, two different cultures or even bridging your or extending kindness and generosity to other people, regardless of how different they are, regardless of um, regardless of the circumstances so not caring about what people around you say not caring about you know what society says you just want to do the right thing for other people okay and it doesn't matter what station of life they come from it doesn't matter um you know what culture what ethnicity what group they're from i feel like you're just being very very kind to other people um what I'm seeing here already with the cards is you have some very, very good energy coming through. Um, there's a lot of communication and exchange between you and another person. And I feel like um, this is what I normally call like the star and the eight of wands. The eight of wands is fast, swift communication and movement. Okay. And the star is sort of like the internet, internet based type of communication. So you're doing a lot of uh, communicating back and forth with another person, either through email, through, um, for some of you, even through online dating. So text messages, um, apps, you know, messaging apps. Um, wow, you've got good cards here. Messaging apps as well as emails and electronic phone calls as well electronic communication there there's some type of a distance between you and the other person so this card okay so we have an air sign the coming back of an air sign okay so the air sign energy, um, I feel like this person, you don't know what to do about them, okay? So air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. The person shows up here as the Knight of Swords and the King of Swords, okay? So this is somebody you might have known for a while. So you you kind of seen them transition, you kind of seen them grow. For some of you, this might even be that potted plant in, on um, you know on the table near the windows. Okay, this is somebody that I feel you have really been somewhat very instrumental to their development in some way. For some of you, you might have helped them develop uh, professionally. For others, you might have helped them refine their thinking. And then for others, you might have helped them, you know, like this is somebody who has a very, very serious presence in your environment okay like you you think about them you interact with them on a regular basis and you overall there's really really good emotions okay i feel like this person really cares about you their um the energy that i'm getting is they are incredibly intelligent so the king of swords this is like the tactician okay this is somebody that comes up with a game plan this is somebody that execute their plans and their ideas they bring forth information to other people they're able to make sense of situations they're able to resolve problems they're just overall their mind is so sharp that you might be in admiration of them okay uh, things tend to go really easy, like things come easily to this person or this person makes plans, makes um, all of their dreams a reality. So I feel like you might be really admiring this person. I'm seeing somebody with, um, you know, smoky eyes. OK, so it could be gray eyes or they if they're female, um, if they're male or female, they could have like smoky eyes, like gray eyes or there's something sparkly about their eyes. Or if they're female, they could heavily line their eyes and, you know, it, it gives it that smoky effect, okay? So I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's actually incredibly intelligent. Um, they have a lot of ideas. And as intelligent and as formal as they are in the work environment, there's something... Um, <laughs> the word I'm getting is naughty naughty but not in a obnoxious troublemaking type of a way this is somebody who is um playful okay i guess playful is a better word for it like they're naughty and they're playful their communication is very straightforward and very uh clear and succinct and i feel like you know they're very curious about the world it's like they're excited, you know, and I feel like their enthusiasm and their optimism uh, really rubs off on you in a good way. 
So I, I see this person as like, oh, let's just do it. Let's just, you know, dive in and, and, and think about things later. So they are a big source of um, the word play just comes out. You know, I don't get anything bad from this person. Um, they're playful. They're optimistic. I feel like they respond to you in a really lighthearted way and you like the way that they respond to you. So go back to the, the flower, okay? Um, occasionally I see a hand coming out, kind of stroking the petals of the flower and the flower is so happy. And then the hands kind of smoothing out the, the leaves. So I feel like you might be troubleshooting for this person or you're, you're just like giving them attention. And the way that they respond to your attention makes you feel really 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 good so this is somebody that really bolsters your self-esteem in some way okay um they might come on heavy with the compliments you know they're they're very expressive they tell you what's on their mind and um i feel like there's just um a lot of admiration here and i feel like this person really really cares about you like really loves you this is like overflowing love okay this is sort of like um the apple being the apple of somebody's eyes or somebody is harboring like a big flame for you okay so this is like true 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 love like someone is just in sheer love and sheer admiration for you i feel as well some of you really like this person too um but when it comes to moving things forward moving things to the next level there's some type of indecisiveness here. And what I'm sensing is for some of you, you really like this person, they really like you, but the environment might be a little bit formal. For others of you, this could be like a really, really good friend of yours and you're not really sure how to take things to the next level. And sometimes it can be hard when we're in that friend zone um, for so long with another person that there's attraction but we don't really know how to proceed forward and formalize something into a relationship so i feel like you have somebody in your midst that you really really care about okay some of you could be as well in a relationship here with the leo we have the strength card and we also have as well the ten of coins so you might be in a relationship with somebody and you're um you might have you know another suitor in the picture as well because with the two of swords this is also a state of indecisiveness and you know the two energies deciding between two things okay so what i'm feeling as well is there's another relationship here where there's a lot of um there's a lot of soothing so i feel like somebody is stroking somebody else's ego i'm also feeling uh somebody might be in a relationship like you guys might be in a relationship and you're um interested in somebody you, potentially interested in somebody else but it seems like for those in uh, relationships you are actually very very happy because the other person uh, really nurtures you emotionally okay like um, whenever you've had a bad day they know how to touch you in order to make you feel better and then whereas for others of you um, you have somebody here that can really um, stimulate you intellectually okay if you are especially on the Gemini Taurus cusp, you need that uh, intellectual stimulation in order for you to feel good, okay? If you're more on the Aries Taurus cusp, you might need more of the ego stroking, the, the more emotional connection in order to really feed into um, your sense of stability, your sense of love. So I feel like you have two people that are meeting your needs in very, very different ways, okay? I don't see third party interference. I don't see like, you know, cheating infidelity. So I don't want you to worry. I, I just feel like uh, for those of you who might be dealing with more like fire energies, uh, they're really, you know, emotionally feeding into your needs. And then for others who might be dealing with a water, uh, an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, possibly even a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, they're really, really feeding into more of that intellectual need of yours. And so either way, you're dealing with people who are very uh, stimulating to be around and very just... Um, in alignment with you okay 
Um, what else I'm seeing here? We have the Two of Cups. This is a soulmate type of a connection, okay? They're kind of staring at each other. Uh, they have this, this garland that's uh, on their beaks in between the two of them. And I, I also see this as like, um, we have here the long distance card, okay? Long distance communication, uh, eight of wands. And then we have this garland, this thread that binds two people. And I feel like for some of you, there might be a, a connection that's far away, somebody who's not in your vicinity. And you're contemplating going to, to see them, mainly because you feel the really, really strong connection. You, you feel like this is something that is, um, is not going to come by, you know, multiple times in a lifetime. So I feel like many of you are coming to the point where you're aware of what you need in a partner and you're seeing all the visible signs of, of, of the things that you need in a specific person. And so you're trying to expedite the, the process. You're trying to meet them where they are. And you're trying to, you know, make sure that this person doesn't get away. It's like, um, if you might have had, if, if they were like somebody that got away from you in the past, you're now making your feelings known. I see you finding them. I see you looking at them on social media as well. I see you trying to, um, reconnect with them and I see you as well possibly planning a trip planning something in order to allow you to be with this person okay and it, this is what I'm seeing the the background is the same theme okay it's like flying in order to get to your destination and be with this person that you really have a very strong magnetic attraction to. So I, I feel like there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of friendship. I, it, it seems like it's the whole trinity. Like it's not just physical attraction. There is great, great, great friendship. Okay. The two of um, cups is usually like um, at the very least, the two of you really like each other, okay? The two of you like get along, you're compatible, you really, really, really like each other. And then we have as well the strength card, which is a lot of physical attraction, okay? This is seduction. So you like each other, you're physically very, very attracted to each other, and you have the Ace of Cups, which is the big love. So I feel like it's the whole trinity. It's like, it, it, it's, it's the whole package. You've got somebody here that you just love completely, thoroughly, and just um, selflessly. Like you really, really, really like this person. And you know, there is definitely mutual uh, reciprocity as well. Okay, because with this two of cups energy, it's a mirroring effect. I'll do this and then you, you reciprocate. It's a very mirroring, very strong mirroring type of energy. And uh, what we have as well is for some of you, you might have met this person in some type of an institution. The Hierophant is about learning institutions. So you might have met them at school. You might have met them at work. You might have met them on a training seminar. You might have met them in some capacity where it's like the universe con conspiring to bring you together. We have the star as well. All the stars in the skies and the heavens have to align for this faded meeting. But I feel like you've known this person for a long time, either physically, you've known them for months, you've known them for years, or it just feels like when you meet them, um, it, it, it feels like you've known them forever. And I feel like in a way, because your destiny, you know, you're, you're like, um, in the same industry, you have the same interests, you have the same career paths, you have the same goals and aspirations, that when you, the two of you meet to each other, there's just a lot of compatibility, a lot of commonalities. They used to live in this city, that's really far away, and then you used to live there. Um, you know, the there you might have mutual friends, like your friends know their friends, and then you 
never had a chance to meet until now or until you know recently or until whenever it was that you first met this person so i feel like there's a lot of synchronicities at stake here and i feel like it's a very strong soulmate connection built on friendship built on physical attraction built on true true love and this sense of mutual understanding and the relationship feels very expansive very 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 expansive it seems like not only is it um, stimulating for you intellectually, it's stimulating for you emotionally. And it's also, you know, somebody who is in your same industry, who has the same uh, career path. And so the two of you will cross paths many, many, many times. So this seems like a very beautiful love affair. Okay. Um, I feel like, you know, whoever you're dealing with, they come from a very good family. They're inspiring to be with. They possibly could be very well read. They care about humanity, okay? So the Aquarius energy comes out very strongly with the star card. They 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 are very humanitarian because I see the the cups here pouring out knowledge, um pouring out the the pouring out everything that we know in order to share our knowledge share our share the information with other people so you're dealing with somebody who's very very knowledge gathering oriented and i feel like you really really look up to this person and you really admire this person this spread is just dripping with compatibility like really deep immense love you know how sometimes when um we love somebody that for example okay when we really 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 love somebody and we can honestly say to ourselves like i really love that person if they're not meant to be with me it doesn't matter because i just want them to be happy when we can truly selflessly love somebody in that capacity i feel like that's what it means to you know experience unconditional love and a lot of mothers they have uh, you know told me that they didn't know what love meant until they have a child of their own I don't have children so I don't really know what that feels like but I feel almost like each one of us once in our lifetime we can honestly tell ourselves I really love that person and even if they're not meant for me even if we can't be together um, I just want them to be happy. I want them to be happy. I want them to be uh, safe. I want them to be healthy. I want them to just be really, really happy, even if it's not with me. And so I feel like you're encountering a situation for this month where somebody is really, really, really uh, stretching or teaching you about unconditional love, or you are learning and understanding the whole concept of um, you know unconditional love as if for the very first time and I feel like this person is challenging you to express yourself um, verbally as well so you know going back to the images um, I didn't hear any noise okay so the guy was driving his car but I didn't see anything and there's that sunflower I don't I didn't hear anything based on those two images and what that means to me is, uh, Taurus, you are very, very action oriented. When you care about a person, you do things for them. You you do things uh, wordlessly. You know, you 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 don't do things and and then tell them like, oh, look at what I did for you. I'm so nice. Look at what I did. No, you don't brag about it. You do what needs to be done. A lot of um, Earth signs are very oriented in this way. They show their love through the things the practical things that they help you with okay and i feel like for you guys that's uh definitely your mo that's how you operate and um you do things for other people uh, a lot of the times behind the scenes you anticipate what they need and you take the physical actions in order to show somebody that you care so with you guys there isn't that declarative statement you know i'm in love with you or you know look at me or um, look at what I'm doing I, I don't see any of that and you guys don't really brag about what you do either or draw attention to it you, you so I, I feel like 
you have somebody here that is uh, challenging you a little bit to be more of uh, verbally expressive okay they're challenging you to be more verbally expressive they're challenging you i'm seeing somebody with big hair um either really nice hair the way they do their hair or there's something very unique and beautiful or just different about their hair and i'm getting it in these two cards here the hierophant look at his hair and this uh strength card the lion's mane okay y you might be dealing with somebody who needs a lot of ego stroking who needs a lot of reassurance as well and so I feel like, you know, they, they, they want more of that um, communication from you. Hence, we have a lot of cards here that indicates you kind of stepping out of your comfort zone a little bit and communicating. Okay. So I'm just going to um, move into other things. Okay. So let's just clear up that energy because it looks really, really good. It's very partnership oriented. Um, I do see that very strong uh, air sign, but Aquarius vibe. Okay. So Aquarius, um, Gemini, Libra, but Aquarius in particular, and um, Leo energy, very strong Leo energy. Okay. Money is going to be very, very, very good for you guys. We have here the Ten of Coins, and this is pretty much the pinnacle of success, okay? sailing over your financial difficulties so if you've been dealing with like uncertainty or whatever the situation might be you're coming out on top and you have like um, you know this is like having money in the bank okay having money in your savings account money that you don't touch money that you're saving for a uh, big vacation and i feel like you know you uh, there's an indication here that somebody might be like in a very powerful partnership like you make a lot of money your partner makes a lot of money you can take like three four or five vacations a year and i feel like you know you're in a very very good financial space overall for those who are single or, or even coupled up and you come from as well you know your family generates money your sisters your siblings your your mom and dad so there's a lot of financial abundance that might be generational or there's just um you, you guys are very very successful okay and then i'm also seeing as well um many of you might be in a capacity where you are working in some type of an institution either a financial institution where you are showing people how to save up for their retirement you might be like a financial consultant you might be um uh, a lender you might be working in some type of financial institution where you are sharing your knowledge with either i'm seeing high school students to teach them about respond uh, like financial responsibility you might be catching them at the point where they're about to go off to college and you're show showing them you know like you're teaching them possibly about student loans you're teaching them about uh, financial planning okay so i see a lot of teachers in this spread um, I'm also seeing a lot of people who might be in the financial, you know, uh, services industry, uh, bankers, tellers, or in that capacity, or even brokers, or even real, real estate people, or even teachers, okay? And then I'm also seeing um, university, um, like, um, like a teacher's assistant, a uh, postdoc, you know, you've just finished your doctorate degree, you're waiting around, and you're getting like uh, TA jobs. And then I'm seeing a lot of um, college professors too. So you're in a capacity where you're teaching, molding the young minds. And I feel like you're really much in love with your job. So many of you might have recently started a job and you're really much, you're, you're so in love with it because of your ability to help people. Okay. There is definitely kindness and generosity. Everything that you've worked really hard for and all of your, um, all of the things that you have done wordlessly for other people you know like that guy in the car he's helping this woman um she's different from him he's helping her and he's um doing a huge favor for her in a very wordless way in a very humane kind of a, a way okay because um she's older she's got like a, a hard burden to bear and he's helping her kind of bear that burden and sharing sharing that space in his life in his car in order to help this woman and it might not mean you know a lot to him but from her perspective it's it's almost like wow you know i i've been carrying this sack of whatever sack of uh, contents 
and uh, I'm getting older and I can't really walk without needing to take a break every 10 minutes and he comes in his car he didn't have to help me but he chooses to stop and help me so whatever good deeds you you have done I feel like you're getting the recognition and you're getting the 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 blessings from the universe that all of these things are coming back home to roost just so that you can feel assured that you're on the right path okay um i'm, I'm seeing just a lot of success overall and um let me see there there's uh, another message right here i feel like the beginning of the month was a precursor it's it's kind of telling you that you know all of the areas in your life are going to sort themselves out like things are gonna be ironed out and then as we move towards the later part of the month it's telling you that all of your relationships all the wrinkles in your relationships will get ironed out and especially for those of you who are single I feel like you might be single but with a very very strong uh, love interest constantly in your mind occupying your mind and I feel like there's this uh, long distance this element of distance this element of online communication this element as well of uh, love and just um, feeling really really in love with another person and knowing that you're loved as well by this person so everything is very wordless okay the exchange is there the, the bond that ties you is definitely there as well as um, this overflowing energy of love okay <laughs> this this reading is phenomenal um, Taurus I'm just gonna leave it at that because I feel like you guys are gonna be very very happy the latter part of this month if not already since the beginning of March you're going to be very very happy okay so I just I'm really happy to see that for you I'm going to leave it there. Um, for those of you who are interested in a reading, um, I do have a psychic. Um, her name, I don't, I don't have a psychic. I, I do have a psychic um, person. She is a reader and uh, I've used her services um, extensively the past two years. Um, and she is phenomenal. I've recommended my friends and my family, and now I'm recommending her to you. If you'd like to book a reading, I've included a link to her scheduling website in the description box below. And um, I highly recommend her. So you can, if you need spiritual guidance, if you know somebody who needs spiritual guidance, I highly recommend that you book a reading with her, okay? So we will leave it at that, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.